Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, it's been a while since I shot anything and what I've shot now is a slight departure from makeup. It's about hairstyling. So what I'm about to show you is how I style my hair when I'm not visiting a salon. And uh, the equipments which I need for uh, styling like this are right here. And uh, the first one and the most important one is a blow dryer and uh, the way you style your hair are with these brushes one is a round brush and one is a flat brush and of course we need these two combs one is a tail comb and one is your normal comb which i think is there with most women who have long hair it's a fat uh, tooth comb and a kangha which probably everybody has and yeah you need a few clips with which you can section your hair you don't need very fancy clips just these basic clips which you'll get at any beauty store they're just good and, and helpful in clipping like this so i've shampooed and conditioned my hair today and normally what i do is i after shampooing and conditioning i towel dry my hair and apply some moroccan oil on the edges Next, I'm going to use a heat protectant spray on my hair. So basically, I've used this heat protection spray. It's by uh, Sebastian Professional. Uh, and it's important that you use a heat protection spray before you style your hair with a blow dryer, with tongs or any heating tools. Because what these sprays do uh, is they protect your hair from the damage that could potentially come from these uh, heat styling tools. So the next thing that I'm going to do is section my hair. I have this tail comb with me. So I'm just going to take like the edge of the tail and just divide my hair into two halves and then I'm just going to take the front portion and just tie it up with a clip yeah now what you can do is just take like little little sections at a time so that will just make your job easier so I have divided the remaining section of the hair into subsections and I'm just going to clip them you don't really need like professional salon clips you can just use your regular clips at home as long as they are tying up your hair you're good just make sure that you don't have any knots in your hair one way of doing it is with this comb a comb like this it's a fat comb and it just helps in doing away with any knots that there could be I generally use two types of brushes uh, while blow drying my hair. One is a flat brush like this and one is a round brush like this. Some people confuse round brushes with these brushes, these bristles which have these round edges. Uh, please don't use these for blow drying because it could just lead to a disaster. If you're a beginner, I suggest you use this brush and once you get a little more seasoned, you could invest in a bigger uh, brush like this which is specifically meant for blow drying. So I'm just going to take my hair section by section and just blow dry them. I'm going to now take the next section of my hair, just comb them a little bit and do the same thing all over again. So here we go. Now the thing is, let me add something here. Uh, that I don't blow dry my hair to the point where they look perfectly straight. Uh, one, because I'm aware of the fact that if you blow dry your hair a little too much, the damage could be that much more. Um, and second, I just like a little bit of wave as long as my hair are not frizzy and behaving. So I've done these uh, sections at the back and now I'm going to proceed to the crown area. So now I've opened up the area that I've clipped before while sectioning and I'm just gently combing them so that there are no knots left behind. 
okay so i'm going to talk from here you can either use this brush or this brush choice is yours i'll just use this brush now since i've already used this one so i'm just going to take this part and blow dry Now once you've done that, just take your brush and gently comb them out and just flip your hair backwards. So here they are. Now if I were to visit a salon, they would make sure that each and every strand is like perfectly straight. And I can do that at home as well. Uh, the only thing is that I'll have to make sure that the heat setting is to a maximum, uh, which is fine. But the only thing is they kind of damage your hair, which I don't want. So this is what it is as of now. You can part your hair in whichever direction that looks good on you. I prefer it this way. So yeah, that's what it is. Also, if you feel like you've missed out on any section, just take the area of hair around that section, clip them, and just take those sections and straighten them out. So this is how they look right now. You can keep these little clips handy. And if you think these strands are coming in front of your eyes, just take your tail comb and just clip them like that. Yeah, this is an interesting style. So this is how my hair finally look and uh, I suggest you do practice uh, this kind of styling in your free time so that your hands get a little more accustomed to having the blow dryer in one hand and the hairbrush in the other. And uh, of course if this video helps do let me know in the comment section below and of course subscribe to my channel for more updates in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.